Hi, my name is Nadia Kavalin. I'm the herbarium curator and field botanist at Royal Botanical Gardens. Today, I would like to show you the Lady Dalhousie collection we have in our herbarium. Let's imagine ourselves back in 1827, when Lady Dalhousie collected a specimen of stiff gentian, Gentianella kinkifolia. If we were in the company of Lady Dalhousie, the ladies would be wearing long dresses, corseted at the waist, with full skirts and puffy sleeves. We'd wear a shawl to keep our shoulders warm. We would keep our long hair in a bun with some carefully curled strands by our temples. We might be wearing bonnets or wide-brimmed hats. Really, we would look like Disney princesses. Gentlemen, your waistlines would be unnaturally narrow too, as you would be wearing a girdle to achieve that fashionable effect. Your double-breasted coat, buttoned high in the chest, would have a stiff, high collar framing your face and your broad cravat. In 1827, we were still 40 years away from Canada's Confederation. Lady Dalhousie, whose birth name was Christian Brown, accompanied her husband, George Ramsay, 9th Earl of Dalhousie, everywhere that his military career took him in the British Empire. At that time, they were stationed in Quebec City, where Lord Dalhousie was appointed Governor-in-Chief of the British Provinces in North America. Lord and Lady Dalhousie were patrons of social and cultural institutions and were among the founders of the Literary and Historical Society of Quebec in 1824. However, the couple didn't much care for Quebec City, so they spent as much time as possible at their summer residence in Sorel. Sorel is in the southern part of what is now Quebec. It's about 70 kilometers down the St. Lawrence River from Montreal. Sorel is where Lady Dalhousie studied and collected plants. These are some of her specimens from Sorel. This specimen of Gentianella kinkifolia, stiff gentian, is an especially important one. This specimen represents the only time stiff gentian was ever recorded for the province of Quebec. I like to imagine the scene from when she found this plant. She might have been strolling alongside a stream or along a riverbank. She might have been mucking about in a marshy meadow, wearing her long dress. She might have been scrambling up a bluff no hiking boots, or hiking in a forest and hillside. These are the habitats where she would have found the gentian. Lady Dalhousie identified her specimens herself. She likely used the 1814 manual Flora Americae Septentrionalis to do this work. This specimen didn't remain in Sorel or in Lower Canada, which Quebec was called at the time. Lady Dalhousie sent many specimens back home to Scotland to Sir William Jackson Hooker at the Glasgow Botanic Institute. Back then, botanists commonly sent their collections to Europe. Lady Dalhousie aspired to send Hooker rare plants for his work on the Flora Boreali Americana, which later became the standard plant identification manual for what is now Canada. This stiff gentian specimen was not one that Lady Dalhousie sent to Hooker. However, it did make its way to Scotland. It was rediscovered at the ancestral home of Lady Dalhousie's family within a collection of nearly 300 specimens collected in Lower Canada. RBG purchased the collection, bringing back home specimens that are among the oldest Canadian plants in Canadian herbaria. Here, RBG's taxonomist, Jim Pringle, researched the work of Lady Dalhousie in Canada and discovered the stories of the specimens in her collection. We are now taking care of these specimens to keep them safe for generations to come. Thank you for watching.